mister. Don't take another step, or we'll blow your fucking head off. You're big, and I don't have any big friends. You better just go out the way you came in. This is Little Lamplight. We live here, and we don't need no mungos messing it up. So just take a hike. Why would I tell you anything? God, you're dumb. You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. Yeah, I do, but it's through Little Lamplight, and you're not getting into Little Lamplight. Guess you better find some other way, Mungo. Hell no! No Mungo's allowed! Well, okay, but you better not be lying or else we'll shoot you. Stacy, open the gate and let this Mungo in. Hey, how are you? We're in the best fucking place in the world. You better believe I feel great. Happy okay. Birthday, Bye. Sorry, I missed your party. Yeah, me too. Sorry. There's nothing happy about it. This is the worst day of my life. It's time to go. You know Watch the rules. It. The rules are stupid. You're a mungo now. You gotta leave. Maybe I can stay just a little longer. Bye, Sticky. Yeah. Bye, Sticky. Don't Don't just stand there. Any luck Get out of here today? already. Nah. Zip kept asking if I had any Nuka Cola hidden anywhere, so I told him I kept a six pack hidden near a magic rock. He'll be busy for weeks, see? Oh, man. And just yesterday, I got him to believe one of the rocks out back granted wishes. I guess we make a good team, even when we didn't mean oh, to. Oh, hey, excuse me. Hey, you better believe it, oh, sis. Hey. What the hell is RJ thinking? Letting a damn mungo like you in here. So who are you working with? Raiders? Slavers? Mutants? Answer up, Mungo! Well, if you're sticking around, you ought to know that I'm Princess, and I call the shots around here. And don't forget it, Mungo. That's behind the back door. The back door is my job, and I do it really well. See, what happens is, Mayor says he wants the door open. Then I help him because I'm good at it. It takes two of us to do it. But only Mayor can say it's okay. You gotta talk to him, and then I'll help him. It's so dull. Practically nothing ever tries to come through the back gate anymore, so I never get to shoot anyone. I wish I was at the front gate, but RJ specifically put me back here. Up front, at least there's a chance I can shoot some unwanted visitors. Which could have included you, Mungo? Oh, really? That's a cute little imagination you've got. But if you want to play make-believe, maybe you should do it with the younger brats. I don't need to explain myself to you, Mungo. Shut up and get lost. In fact, don't you ever bother me about something as stupid as nicknames again. We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask Mayor if you really want to know. Well, thank goodness you gave me permission, jerk. Later. How are you doing? See ya. You back. okay? Hey. Late. Wow. What luck. I'm sticky. Forget these little kids. I'll take you to Big Town where the Mungos, I mean, where the grown ups live. I'm headed there now. Nah. I'm a grown up now. I can handle myself. There's no reason to waste your time with the kitties at Little Lamplight. They'll steal your caps when you aren't looking. So let's go to Big Town. I can show you the way. I'm not a baby. I'm a grown-up. That's why I'm going to Big Town. Because I'm not a little kid anymore. So you see, I don't need you. Good luck with those kids. You're gonna need it.
You have? I mean, of course you have. It's an awesome place. Well, enough talking. Let's get a move on. You are taking me to Big Town, right? Oh, I forgot I had that on. It was for my birthday. Here, you take it. I don't want it anymore. Why won't you just take me to Big Town? Oh, hey, excuse me, hey. Hey, dummy. The mayor said it's okay for you to be in here, right? Because Mungos aren't allowed in here unless the mayor says so. So are you an okay Mungo? Because if you aren't an okay Mungo, then that means we should stop you. And that means I've got to get my gun from lockdown. So stay here, okay? Oh, that's good, because Mayor McCready says I can't have my gun in town anywhere, not since last time. But that was totally an accident anyway. That reminds me, gotten a Nuka-Cola? Because if I'm not going to have a gun in town, then it must be okay for me to have one more Nuka, right? Anyway, everyone calls me Zip, you know. Like a zipper. Only not really like that, because I'm not made of metal. But I do go up and down, I guess. Yeah, I know the place. Yep, sure do. Monsters back there. Big, scary monsters. Lots of them. Tons, even. Are you going there? Are you? Are you gonna shoot them dead? I bet you are. That'll be so cool, and wants to eat your face. They do that, you know. Why Zip? Or why do I have a nickname at all? I mean, why don't people just call me Ricky, or Yancey, or Eustace P. Vanderbagger the third? I mean, they say it's because I'm so fast. But that doesn't make sense because I don't think I'm all that fast. It's just that they're all slow. I guess it's just one of those mysteries that will never really get answered. Sort of like how people made bubbles in Nuka Cola. Say, got any cola? Okay, see you next time, mister. What's up, pal? Just talking to morons who keep bugging me. Scram. Guess what? Oh, hey. How are you doing? What's up? You okay? Uh, um, okay, yeah. Bye-bye now. See you around. What's up? Oh, hey, what's happening? Something fun? Fun times and laughs as always. Um, okay, yeah. Bye-bye now. See ya about. Hello. Hey. Anything going on? Whoa. I've never seen a Mungo so close. Are you a raider? Or a slaver? Or a mutant? Because if you are, I'm supposed to go hide. Because I'm too young to use a gun yet. Did you live in the old vault below? I thought nobody lives down there now because it was full of monsters. Mayor doesn't let us go down there because when they went, they didn't come back. You don't look like someone who didn't come back, so maybe you didn't come from there. It's just a name, okay? Not my fault I knocked stuff over. Lucy says... I still got a lot of growing to do. I don't know what that is, mister. I don't know. I still get lost sometimes. Things are really big. Bye-bye, Vault Dweller. Excuse me. Who are you? What are you doing in here? If you convinced RJ that you're safe, I guess I'll go along. But if you do start trouble, you'll regret it. I'm Lucy, the doctor here. That means I handle the funerals, too. So much as look at a kid the wrong way, and I'll be seeing you again. I thought you had the look about you. Sure, I can help you, but it's not free. 50 caps, take it or leave it. Okay, this should flush you out pretty quick. Now open your mouth and say, ah. Good as new. Now, watch yourself out there, all right? There's always one big sister or another who knows her way around a compress and a sewing needle. So we take care of most of the little scrapes. And way back when, someone figured out that some of the plants and fungus around here absorb radiation. The little ones don't like to eat their veggies, but they don't like to be sick either. So we get by. It is, especially for dealing with the low-level radiation we all get from the water. 
the fungus just soaks it right up. But it doesn't help the rickets that keep hitting the younger lamplighters. Believe it or not, I can make a treatment for that from extract of buff out. Actually, if you can talk McCready into it, I'd be glad to trade some fungus for buff out, but he'd have to say it was okay. Well, we all know the basics. Combat first aid, you know? But I've got the most experience at the tough stuff. Bumble's been learning the most about the more complex parts of cutting and sewing. People tease her, but she's got a steady hand. Of course, now she just needs to learn what you do and don't cut. Well, until you come asking for a bandage, at least. Thanks. Hopefully, it'll just be skin, knees, and bloody noses today. Excuse me. Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo. Yeah, I'll bet you've heard all about the fungus in my cavern. But yeah, the cave fungus, sure. It's good for food and medicine, and it's the main fucking reason we've stayed alive down here. So, you want a slice of that gray-green gold, huh? I think maybe we could come to an arrangement. What are you offering? Oh, is that how it's gonna be then? Well then, how's this deal? Rather than you wasting ex the explosives to try to close all of our exits just for us to bury out again, you get my private stash of fungus. Here. But I wouldn't expect much goodwill in town after this, you shit-sucking mungo bastard. Excuse me. You want to go to Big Town? Of course you do! Why won't you just take me to Big Town? Hey, are we letting Mungo's in now? Didn't hear a scuffle, so I'm guessing you're some sort of guest? So, what's so cool about you, Fancy Pants? Must be a pretty good reason for you to get let in, see? Always good to hear, but not even any fun trouble? Even a little? See, I collect a lot of stories and sometimes trade them to keep the others amused. A bit of fun trouble is always good for morale. Morale's better than less al, see? Well, technically, I'm patrolling and keeping the peace. Mostly, that involves making sure people are happy and not getting into trouble. You can't very well keep the peace if you've already lost it, see? So, bam, jokes. Wanna hear one? Prepare to be amused. Knock, knock. Noah. Know a place where I can get some food? Gee, thanks. I have to admit most of them aren't really funny. At least not ha-ha funny. They're more like a tradition. Most of them were passed down from this book we found down back, called Vault Boy's Big Book of Laughs for Kids. They're not really funny, but something about hearing them is a little comforting, you know? Oh, we've got lots of funny incidents. Like when Sammy shot the raider who thought he was a girl. That sort of stuff. But we don't really get a lot of news stories from outside. The scav teams spend all their time hidden, so they don't get much news, see? I'd sure like to hear more tales from the great big outdoors myself. Actually, if you hear any, feel free to tell me. Oh, really? Tell me about it.
So you're like a three-legged dog then? Looking for your lost paw? <laughs> anyway, what happened next? Wow, that's some crazy bad timing. I mean, that is to say, I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. So what happens next? That makes sense, I suppose. A good story can take a while to put together, you know. We don't go there. It's bad back there. Ask Mayor if you really want to know. See ya about. Um, I guess this thing is working. I'm Jason Grant. I'm 10 years old. I'm in miscellaneous class at Early Dawn Elementary. A month ago, a big war came and everything was destroyed. Except us. We're still okay in these caves. Kind of. Mrs. Delaney went out this morning to get help. And she never came back. The other adults never came back either. So now it's just us kids. A lot of the others still cry every day. They're really scared. I'm not. There's nothing to be scared of, as long as we don't go outside. Nobody else wants to be in charge, so I'm gonna try. Most of the kids listen to me already, so it should be easy. It's been almost two months, and we're all doing pretty good. Even if we are all alone, there's a door that leads to a vault right here in the caverns. Every day, we bang and bang, but they won't let us in. We can hear them in there. One time, a guy on the other side told us we were dead already. Fuck those grown-ups. Fuck them all. We don't need them ever again. Watch it. Oh, are we letting Mungos in now? Didn't hear any shots, so I'm guessing you're not here to raid us. And if you're not here to raid us, you might just have brought something cool for us, see? So who are you, and how'd you get let in? In that case, I'm Knick-Knack, and I take care of the general store around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stuff, and sometimes trade it for other stuff. That's pretty much a store, see? Oh boy, new junk to tinker with! See you around.
Welcome to Widow Wampwite. Hey, you look like you're handy with the weapon. I got kicked off the scab team, so I guess I don't need mine anymore. Wanna buy my Wazer rifle? 500 caps and it's all yours. Then you're not getting it. Sorry. Nickname? What are you talking about? Talking like what? You're weird. Okay, RJ had better have a good reason to let you in. Because right now, all I'm seeing is a Mungo who's here to take our food and screw us over. Oh, great. Maybe next he'll take in a Deathclaw or something. He can make it the town mascot. Anyway, my name's Eclair, and yes, I take care of the food here. Don't expect any scraps from our table. Honestly? When we can't scavenge some from outside, we mostly scrape it off the walls and skim it off the water. No, really. Most of our food comes from fungus that grows in these caves. It's not so bad when you get used to it, and we don't have much choice. At least it's filling, so we don't have to eat much of it. But man, oh man, it tastes terrible! It's pretty hard to find, and I hear it doesn't grow in other caves. I don't know why it's here, but without it, we'd be goners. Think fungus just grows on trees? No, it grows in caves! Ugh. Knock Knock came up with that one once, and now it's stuck in my head forever! Doesn't take any work to get it to grow down here. All I have to do is collect and prepare it. Mostly, I try to get the stink off it. They say the fungus grows in the pools for the first lamplighter stump the mungos. That's about the most they ever helped us. I don't know how true that is. But I know, sometimes, the scav team comes back with this strange meat. It tastes terrible, but the fungus loves it. I don't know where they find that meat, but if you could bring some back, I'd be glad to trade fungus for it. Of course, McCready'd have to okay it. Sure. Well, I didn't get the nickname for being fat and full of cream, if that's what you're asking. Back when I was on the scav team, I found some pages from an old cookbook. Sometimes I try them out. Just for the record, don't try making an eclair out of cave fungus. The taste sticks with you, and not in a good way. About time, man. This mold isn't getting any tastier. So you get in, but I got my eye on you. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo.
organized? Have you walked around this place? It's pure anarchy, and I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. We can't all stay here forever, so we've all got to leave eventually. And there's not much to look forward to out there. So we have a good time while we're here. And the occasional ruthless little bastard like me makes sure it doesn't fall apart for the other kids. It's not that complex. Any kid can say they want to be mayor here. It's just that most don't want to bother with the responsibility of leading. Most of the time, they last until the kids get tired of them. Then they get kicked out on their ass by the new mayor. One only lasted five minutes. Of course, I've kept this place going strong for three years. To most kids, that makes me mayor for fucking life. Fine by me, I say. People change when they grow up, and we don't trust mungos living down here. So we leave for a place called Big Town before we get too old. At least that's the line Joseph teaches. But really, we simply don't have enough space or food for everyone to stay here forever. So, I've got to exile some to avoid ruining the whole town. It's a fucking hard, brutal choice to make, but that's the way we stay alive. About time. Yeah, I'll bet you've heard all about the fungus in my cavern. But yeah, the cave fungus, sure. It's good for food and medicine, and it's the main fucking reason we've stayed alive down here. So, you want a slice of that gray-green gold, huh? I think maybe we could come to an arrangement. What are you offering? Sure, right. And we'll just trust you to bring us plenty of clean food and medicine, not try to poison us and move in on your own. No, no deal, Mungo. This is our fungus, and we haven't gotten enough to share with freaks like you. Okay, see you later, pal. Watch it. Well, if it isn't the magnificent Mungo, what now? Well, thank goodness you gave me permission, jerk. You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. It's the only way that works, yeah. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted and not even Joseph can make it work. I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. You sure about that? It's scary in there. Even I don't like going in there, and I'm really brave. Okay, if you say so. Come on, let's get the gate open for you, Mungo.
Games. Time to die!
try and hide from this! Oh. 